welcome to today. Gabby's up. She's making some breakfast. Gabby, it's Friday. Are you excited? No school tomorrow? Yay. Yay. Anyway, I'm. This week went by fast. I know. It really did go by fast. Yeah, I was like, it was Monday yesterday. Now it's Friday. I know. Thank goodness. She's having a Nutella, Nutella sandwich we for breakfast. Have any. Are we almost out? I can show you how to get it off better. Remember Alita, shoot, she told me how to spell, say her name and I forget now. Remember Alita Simmons? Um, she showed me these pictures Lydia? where she made, she made a horse out of snow. But imagine if we did that. Oh, you could no. ride it. You could make one whatever size you wanted and you could ride it. Isn't that so cool? Like, Mine would take days and days to build and then I would hop on it once it was all done and crush it. And it like... No, if you did it really tight, it could be, you. It wouldn't crush. Always. Like a snowman. Like a snow fort. You know how the snow hill out there doesn't crush? Yeah. You gotta make it when the snow falls and then let it settle and then it'll stay yeah we need packing snow but isn't that the coolest like literally that would be a dream for my kids if they had um snow horses outside that they could just go outside and ride they'd be out there all the time so something crazy is happening in the bunny world this morning i was getting dressed and in the bathroom the and the bathroom is just outside this window and I could hear crazy banging and noises in here I knew something was going See, on they dragged the blanket. but Gabby was sleeping so I couldn't come and check it out and when I walk in I can see that there was a lot of jumping and banging going on <laughs> holy what is happening you guys look at they're moving their house from there over to there but you guys can't stay there because I do not like that Spot, you guys are up against the wall. See, they, even moved their blanket in there. they took the blanket over, you guys. They took the blanket over, and so basically, they're either feeling at home and they're like, I'm gonna make my own bed, or, or their room is so messy that they're like, somebody needs to help us clean this up, and they're trying to tell us something. What do you think's happening? Uh, they make me a mess. All right, let's get this room clean. You guys ready? I'm not yeah, we all have to help. If you yeah, want bunnies? If you want bunnies, you have to help. It'll be fast though. <laughs> a bunny they have so much work oh my god oh my god oh my god I am like totally freaking out I'm freaking out I have to show you guys something I suspected yesterday but I've been checking okay so you get out you get out do you guys see what I see they're not warm enough I need to warm them more I'm gonna move them you guys Gabby yeah. you're not gonna believe what happened Come here and see. Do you know what happened? What? Do you know what happened? Mm -hmm. Come here. Baby bunnies. <laughs> Do you hear them? Wait, what? They must have been born yesterday and all the, and it's freezing over here. I just need to feel them and make sure that they're warm. Yeah, where's your phone? They're so warm where's and they're so huge. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. I've been feeling her. I've been touching. Oh, she's on them now. I've been touching that. I've been touching her belly. I felt for little tiny nodules. I. There's no way that she could have bunnies in her baby. So obviously these bunnies were conceived before she came here. Guys, um, maybe my buddy's the dad because he will not move. No, I think it, both, all the bunnies have been sitting on that nest though. Oh, oh my gosh. They obviously were conceived at the, at the barn. But uh, yeah, I gotta warm them up, you guys. They're warm and they're nice. What do you guys think? It's in a bad spot. It's gonna be warm out the next couple of days. They're doing well. She's she's looking. Look. What's she the knows matter, that honey? this is fluffies. We're cleaning. That's why you moved the whole house. Did you want to be alone? I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna get a nesting box. I'm gonna figure out what to do. Oh my gosh, oh, you guys. So they're her. like a day old probably, or else they were born in the night, but they're massive. They're so warm. How many of them are there? One. They're so big. One, two, three, four. Three, five. I knew something was happening, but I would have swore on my life that she was not pregnant. I would have swore on my life that you were not pregnant, but I knew you were hungry. I'm so sorry. I would have separated you. Separated I was you. watching every single day to make sure that she did not give birth. Every single day. She must have had them in the night, though. I don't know. She was building the nest yesterday. Oh, my gosh. I can't even believe this. She must have had them tonight. You get out of there, you guys. Get out. <laughs> this guy's like, what's happening? And this guy just wants to, to be with them. These guys are very much babies still. And they have no food, no water. I fed them late last night. Oh my goodness. You're a mama. You're a mama, Daisy. You're a mama. The ears, the ears on him are so adorable. Hold them tight with two hands and keep them close to your body because he's going to be cold. We have to get them really nice and warm. Oh, oh. Okay, so five hours later, I have everything set up, but it's not going to work out. I can already no, tell. It's basically just <coughs> an hour because it was 10 when we started, now it's 11. Okay, so it's only been an hour. Thanks, Gabby, for clarifying that for me. So we have boys over here now with their food. I ran out of hay. Of course, she gives birth and I run out of hay. So I need to go to the store and get that tonight. I'm almost at a pellet. So I moved their little box over there because I know he was climbing out before and that's the one that was climbing out. He was jumping off on the box, jumping no, on the, the steps, the and then jumping back over here. So, so hopefully they're gonna stay in there. If he manages to climb out somehow, then I am going to- Kill him. <laughs> no, they're not gonna kill him. Um, <laughs> But anyway, funny, no, I no. will figure something else out. They look awfully cute over there though. So <laughs> cute. So then over here, I had to decide, okay, do you, okay. So I did not want them where she gave birth to them. And the reason is this, it's against it out, two outside walls and it's just so cold over there. And that's why I put their bed where I put it. So I moved them. I debated it for like 45 minutes, honestly. So I moved them into a box. And all I did was scoop up the whole entire nest in one hand, all of it intact, so that it's exactly the way that she left it, and I moved it over here. And I put a blanket over there and behind it to kind of keep in heat. I put a bunch of straw, or I, I put a bunch of hay in front to try and keep um, it so it's like a little den for them. And of course, she's over there trying to make another bed over there. She's trying to get through there. Yeah, so Sam's gonna have to fix that so she can't go over there. She's probably like, I just gave birth and she wrecked everything and now I have to work like crazy to try and make my nest again. Like just get out of here and leave me alone. 
Look at how friendly she is. She wants the boys. The boys were helping her a lot. <coughs> and that boy is looking for a way out, huh? That's He's not gonna rest. That's mine. Oh. That's shy. Oh. Before anybody leaves me a comment saying, get your pet, get your bunnies neutered, I just wanna point out that we've only had her for two weeks and three days. It, it takes 31 days for baby bunnies to be born, so obviously she was pregnant before she came to us. You can tell it's getting warm when all the snow starts to melt into slush. Usually this happens at March. Can you hold these? Sure I can. Yeah, Sophie's got her onesie on underneath her snow pants. Is it inside out? Are you nice and warm at least? How come you didn't get out of your pajamas today? Because I was too lazy. Too lazy? At least you're honest, sister. Did the baby bunnies today to Instagram a full day before you guys are seeing this video so a lot of you guys know that we had baby bunnies before this video came out some of you guys are confused because you think they're inside but they're not let me show you see this room up here off of our house it's like a porch an inside porch so it's similar to our porch but it's above it and it's not insulated Come on, Ruby! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Is she gonna jump? We decided not to go to the barn tonight because everybody wanted to rest and it's really cold. Winter sucks in Canada. It does not make us want to go to the barn. Oh my gosh, turn on the light there, Gabby. Anyway, I'm super paranoid about the baby bunnies. <laughs> Keep checking the temperature in the room. We found our heating lamp. Somebody borrowed it, so we can't get it till tomorrow. But look at there. Those guys look like there's three bunnies in there. <laughs> and a dead bunny. It's a fake bunny. But we need to put a cover on there, too, for them. It's a stuffed bunny. So there they are in there. There's her little nest. I don't see it moving, but it looks all flattened down in there like she's been in there. So that's good. But then she's whoops, she's got this nest over there. <coughs> I don't know what you're thinking there, Missy. Back at the barn for sure tomorrow. I'm excited to ride it's Saturday and Sunday. Sunday we're riding with friends probably on Saturday too. Yes. I'm excited to try a whole bunch of new things with our horse and um, we didn't want to ride her too many days in a row so that's another reason why we stayed home plus we have baby bunnies <laughs> yeah that's I'm a so excuse <laughs> that is a lousy excuse comment of the day goes to Emily Tam and before I read the comment I want to point out to you guys that this is the girl that found us Sabrina did you know that 
No. So anyway, I just want you guys to know that Emily Tam is the one that found us Sabrina. And she says, 15.3 is a good size for you and the girls. Maybe a little small for you, Laura. But for the girls, that would be a good size. I'm a fan of appendix quarter horse for starters. So am I. I would love that horse for us. Um, and just normal quarter horses. Big warm bloods are a little too advanced for you guys. Which we can see with Sabrina because she is a warm blood. Big warm bloods are a little too advanced for you guys and are very expensive. Little quarter horses can get you around a course very well. It's less about the breed and more about their personality. Although I'd steer clear of off the track thoroughbreds unless your coach says otherwise. So basically this is where we have the trouble. A lot of people don't understand where we're coming from with the size. So we are giant people. We are giant. We're giant size. Oops, sorry. Gabby is probably going to be close to six feet in the next couple of years. And Sophie's going to be my height, 5'9". So we're really, 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 really tall people. And we do not want to get a horse that we're going to grow out of. So 15'3 is perfect for us as long as it's a big bodied horse because it needs to be able to carry my weight. And the girls are going to be big too. But we're going to have all our own horses. So Eventually. basically it has to be the best fit for one of us and then a good fit for all the others. Yeah, like I wanna and then we we'll get you a horse and stuff. So basically no. Gabby's saying as long as it fits me I'm all good. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what a girl. My first horse. Yeah, she really does. But anyway, we're looking at, we're specifically looking for a wide bodied horse because oh, um, it, it would be a good fit for me. But anyway, we have to end today's video because our battery is flashing. <coughs> so we need to say goodnight and we'll see you guys Bye. tomorrow. But if you. But before I go, I just want to quickly tell you that I threw in a, in a, some footage from our, my last lesson of Gabby because Sabrina is ready to ride. She was, or she is ready to jump. Sabrina was, went around the corner and was like, oh, there's a jump. I'm going to jump in. And Gabby was like, whoa. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because this week coming up, Gabby's going to start jumping Sabrina. She's going to learn to jump our horse. Anyway, that is it. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. And I'm wearing my... And I'm wearing my day by day shirt. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.